first one I poured is actually an English style cider. So what our bosses did is they traveled around the world and they went to different countries and then learned how to make cider the way that they do traditionally there. Um, and when they brought it back to the Okanagan, they kind of just used Okanagan fruit and put a spin on it. Mm. Um, and that's what they did with that first one. So it goes really well with any fatty food, any pub food. It's kind of like that pub style cider. It's going to be quite a bit um, denser, a little bit harder in your mouth as well. It's going to stay there longer. Um, and then we switch it up here with our semi-dry, which is our classic apple cider. So it's just meant to be super easy drinking. Um, great for beach days or a day like today. Mm -hmm. Um, goes down a little too easy sometimes, honestly. Uh -huh. And then we have our pear, which is the exact equivalent to the semi-dry, but in pear form. So there's no apple in here whatsoever. Usually when it's a pear cider, there is a base of apple, and then they add pear on top, and that's uh, not the case with ours. We actually just blend three different types of pear together, and then it, it has a wonderful finish. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna grab one here. And then our half staff, which I'm going to pour at the end, um, is our brand new one. We launched that on Friday. Yeah, half berry. It's similar to a blueberry. Um, you get that tartness at the very beginning, and then it uh, evens out to be about the same dryness level as these two middle ones. But um, yeah, not super sweet. We keep our ciders fairly dry in general. Sounds great. Yeah. Why is it called Nomad? Um, because of the traveling thing. Like that was kind of what got them started. They really taught themselves in their in their garage how to make <laughs> cider. Like it really just started with like one of those box kits. That they're yeah. like, well, let's try it, and then. Um, obviously, they got pretty good at it and started traveling to figure out how other people do it and then yeah. brought it back here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Did their own thing with it. Okay, let's go drink this stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are we drinking? Look at the picture you've got. Traditional. Traditional cider. This one? Which one? This no. one. Traditional cider. Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers. Happy cheers from all cider. Cheers to you at home. <laughs> mm, good stuff. Oh, it's not that sweet. Well, they said they keep most of them dry. Yeah, I like that. If I have to drink that. Yeah. Almost tastes like wine, eh? But like. Like the same texture. Maybe a little more bubbly. Very good. We're growing on the west side of the of the apple orchard. Of Summerland. Summerland, yeah. Summerland of BC, Canada. Mm. Better try the pink one. And this was one that was made just out of pears, right? Yeah. No, that's the latest one that they did. Uh, some kind of berry. Oh. The third one's the pear one. And not a lot of places. That's good too. Pink one. Good stuff. Pasca. A tart blueberry and raspberry. And what's this called? The Nomad. Cidery. The Nomad Cidery. Just out of, uh, where? Penticton? Yeah, in Summerland. Oh, Summerland. Yes, Summerland. we're in Summerland. It's been a long day. <laughs> now we're in Summerland. Next stop, Kelowna. For duck. handmade duck dinner. Handmade. Well, I guess it's always handmade, right? Too much cider. <laughs> Too much cider. One chip. Sure, still. Uh, what's this one, the second one? It's a dry one. I like dry cider. Wow. Let's try this one. Semi dry. So this one is an honest Okanagan. Simil. This tastes honest. Similkamine. Mm. Fresh with its crisp and refreshing fruit forward apple aroma and pepper. So what? Silkamine. Silkamine.
Oh, you recorded all of that? If they play over here. Going on a little tour of the apple cider orchard. Check it out. Back. And a shout out to the straight and narrow Pacific Coast cocktails. Huh? We we'll might have to hashtag them. I don't know what that is. That doesn't look like apples to me. Or maybe it's just, oh, those are probably seedlings or something. Small ones, apple trees. Saplings. Saplings? I don't know. Is there a tree for sapling, no? Yeah, it looks like little pear trees. Oh, there we go. It's not that uh, big, but I imagine that produces quite a few apples, eh? Yeah. For what they're doing. Well, it goes quite a ways. Shredder. That's where they got rid of Jimmy Hoffa. What happened to you don't want your bread? You drive on a tractor. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's only the only exclusively one pear one. <laughs> hey, they used that wood you said. Untreated? Is there like uh, apples that... on this? Oh, this is lime? Is that? Oh, I think those are walnuts. Walnut trees. What? Yeah, walnuts. Oh, that's what that squirrel was holding. Yeah. Cute. Some um, little steam engine? Yeah, the tree. And what, what's this over here? I don't know. You can't tell me they don't get bears. Well, if you plant, uh, yeah, some kind of berry there. There's a train track. Berry air. Steam train. Train track. Did you say steam train? Mm -hmm. Yeah, steam train runs through here sometime, we were told. Are these Kinnikinick berries? Every red berry. Right? Could be Kinnikinick berries, yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a bit of different vegetation around. Uh, it's very hot here. <laughs> uh, it's only getting hot. Come back for a fall trip. Come here for the summer. Have you enjoyed your trip so far? Oh, yeah. Have you? Oh, yeah, it's just been the best Father's Day ever. Oh, 